Hey there, welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name's Andrea and I love the Pilates method of exercise. And if you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. Today I have a workout on the Wunda chair. And this is another installation of my uh, playing along with learning an order of exercises that I don't currently have in my memory. And this is the order that I was given by Shari, Ramana's daughter. Um, when I was in the training program, Romanus Pilates, and this is the preferred order that Shari liked um, if one was to do a full workout on the Wanda chair. And generally, we use the Wanda chair for like spot fixing. You know, you might take someone to the Wanda chair for just a couple exercises, but as someone who does a full hour on the Wanda chair, this is an order that you can follow. And I used to have it in my memory, and years have gone by, and it's fallen out of my memory. So I'm going to start to work on it, and today I'm going to work on just the first half of the exercises, which is going to be 16 exercises. It will probably take about a half hour, so this is probably about a 30-ish minute workout. And then I'll make another video for the second half, and then I'll make one where I have all the exercises in my mind, and I go through for a full hour of the wounded chair exercises in this order. So, wish me luck. We're going to start with the footwork. I've selected a spring setting for myself for all the exercises with, that require two springs. Um, I have one bottom spring plus one middle spring. Uh, this is a Graz one to chair. You could also select one top spring plus one bottom spring. It gives you a little bit more support. Um, and then I'll, I'll be telling you when I change for exercises where we're just on one spring. So I'm going to start with all of the footwork. And I'm just going to put my list here in case I need to relate to it. I mean, refer to it. <laughs> okay, so here we are at the footwork. I'm going to do 10 of each one. And I'm going to hold and pull up on the, pet, on the chair like I'm pulling it up to my back. So I'm going to press down and pull up. Two, pull up. Three, pull up. Four, pull up. Five, up. Six. Seven, up, eight, up, nine, up, and ten. Now to the arch. I'm going to put my hands behind my head, lifting my butt and my back all the way up to where I'm pressing on my hands. Two, press on the pedal, lift with your powerhouse, close the spring. Pull up, pull up. Six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Let's go to the heels. Down, pull up. Two, press on it, lift it, lift it, lift it, close the spring. Three. And it does still slow down my rhythm a little to have greater connection, but that's okay. Five and up. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And then I'm going to stand on the pedal to turn around for this standing footwork exercise, which is the tendon stretch. Suck the stomach in from the upper back all the way down, all the way up. This is number three. Three more. And then I'm going to control the pedal up. Now we're going to go to the push down. So I'm going to change to one spring in the middle. And I'm going to do three sets of the push down. Arms up. Lift the bottom of the back. Keep the extension of the hip as you stretch over and around your back. Find the elephant shape, and then really keep the pumping as a challenge for the stability and the engagement of the rest of your body. Lift your stomach. Two more sets. Last one. 
Now I think I go to the swan. Let's see. Yes! Swan dive. All right. So I'm going to do swan dive, or swan, swan dive, and pumping one arm, I believe. Let me look one more time. Yep. Okay. So I'm following the same sequence here. And again, that pumping is challenging the stability of the rest of me. I'm going to continue to the dive. I'm going to put my elbows on the outside. One more. And then I'm going to take a moment to stand up and round my back. And then I'm going to go for the one arm. And I'm taking a break because the one arm is really hard for me. <laughs> um, but you don't have to take a break there. And eventually I won't either. Three times. And then one swan. Oh my. Okay. Close the pedal. Turn around. So now the teaser sitting on top. I'm going to pick my favorite one, <laughs> and I'm still on one spring in the middle. One more time. Keep channeling your teaser three so that your whole body pushes that pedal down, not just your arm. And then I think I go to the mermaid seated. Yes. It's all coming back to me. So let's do three on each side. Lift up, 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 up until you make it to the pedal. And then lift yourself to lift the pedal. You'll come all the way up with your hand off of it. One more. to the other side and the ankle that crosses over is the one you're crossing away from the pedal so right now I have my left ankle on top of my right ankle And now I'm going to have a seat on the pedal because I'm going to go down to the floor for the backward arms. This is my favorite way to get down to the pedal. So if you sit on the pedal, 
You can ride it down, and then you'll sit right in front of it for your backward arms. So regard this as like your reverse push through. You want to make sure that your back is lifting as you lift that pedal. And then you're using all of the seat and the lift of your powerhouse to push it down. So you're really making it a postural sitting up tall exercise. And then I'm going to switch my grip. I'm going to do the same thing. So try to keep the, the pressure on the pedal and lift your bottom. Last one. And then I'm going to turn my fingers to face forward. I'm going to put my feet on the floor and sit on the pedal again. And then lift myself, but I lean forward and the pedal will come up. And then I'm going to turn around for the arm frog. I'm making my distance for the arm frog not quite as big as for the push down, but maybe like about halfway closer. Because you want to be really still upright when you get to your frog. And I'm going to make my V of my feet a little bit more turnout. Basically so I can get all the little toes to be on the floor as well, which is going to help this and help the whole exercise. So, but first, I'm going to rise up to the balls of my feet, so my butt's already working. And then I'm going to lift my butt up and up and up and up and up. So that when I get down here, I'm not parked in my legs. Where is the pedal? I'm going to bring this a little closer. Okay. And I'm going to lift as I push down. And then lifting back up. Okay. Let's see what's next. Mermaid kneeling and then the horseback. Okay. So I'm still on one spring. Here's a pad for my landing spot. And I'm going to get down to the knees the same way I got down for the arm frog. I'm going to rise up to the balls of my feet. And then I'm going to use the lift of my bottom and my powerhouse to be the brakes so that I can gently land on my knees. And then I'm going to really lift and kind of wait for it. So I'm going to lean my whole body over to, look, to go on that pedal. Size a little harder. Then my arms will reach forward. I'll turn my toes under and come up to the balance and then rise up and then take a step to the other side. And that's one thing I really like about the Wanda chair is that you can really get to the point where you finesse the moments between the exercises. So you're really placing everything exactly where it's going to go and you can work on your precision and control of movement. Kind of because you have to. And then turn your toes under, come back to the balance, and come up. Okay, so now, as memory serves me, horseback. Okay, and then we'll do a push up. So for the horseback, I like to do a fancy little mount. So we call it, we call it the, um, I call it the three second hover. So your leg will roll across first, you'll place your hands on the chair, 
You'll hold yourself in your horseback position for three seconds. Woo! <laughs> Let's try that again. <laughs> so leg across, hands, have your position, and then sit. And I like to kind of squeeze right up in the belly of the inner thigh, right above the knee. I like to squeeze that onto the corner. And you can, of course, have pads if you like. I'm going to go down to the pedal. Three times. I'm going to do that exact thing one more time. That was a little owie over there. And I'm really pulling in my stomach and trying to make the round shape of my back as much as I can without just putting my shoulders forward, which is usually my go-to. Pump three times. Yeah, just kind of again. And then I'm going to come up. Find that same shape. And sit. And then for this last one, I'm going to do three circles so I won't involve the pedal. And then I'm going to three second hover myself. Okay, now one of the push-ups. I'm gonna turn my chair, and I'm gonna put it back on, oh no, we're still on one in the middle. Well, this order seems to facilitate staying on one spring for a little while, so that's nice. Okay, so this is the push-up, where one hand is on the pedal, and one hand is on the floor. So the lineup is right behind the imaginary edge of this chair, and the little toe in line with the little corner. I'm gonna use my rolling down skills. I'm gonna leave the pedal up until I need it to come down. And I'm gonna set up my position, trying to stand on my feet with my stomach, because that's my anchor, because the pedal is gonna move. Okay, here we go. So I'm standing in my lower body. And I'm using the lift of my powerhouse and my butt to manage that pedal. I'm gonna do five. And then I'm gonna return the pedal, walk my feet back in, and roll back up. And then step to the other side. Stand on your feet. And I have to kind of keep telling myself that because it's not my go-to. I'm going to get the pedal down. Five times. Walk. Oh, sorry. Return the pedal. Whoop. Walk back in. And then roll back up. Okay, just a few more exercises. So now I have the twist and the push-up number two. I'm just gonna leave the chair like this for the twist. And this exercise, sometimes it's hard to know where to sit. So I'm gonna try to be along this longest diagonal. So I'm sitting parallel to that. And I'm gonna have my hip right in the center. So before I bring my legs up into the position, it will feel like my one bottom is not on the chair. But as soon as I bring myself up into the exercise, that bottom is on the chair. So we're going to do three. I'm going to stand in my feet and in the pedal. 
and I'm going to stretch around and hold the pedal just a little bit off the floor. And then I'm going to stand on the pedal on my legs and pull up the pedal. Almost lift like you're doing a side bend, almost. Or maybe it feels like it feels like around the world a little bit too. And then keep that pedal nice and controlled as you come up. One more time. Oh, that one wasn't very good. one's hard to talk to, <laughs> tired, hard to talk and do. Oh. Okay, so now the push-up number two. So push-up number two is where you have one hand on the pedal and one hand on the chair. We're going to do three. So the, the tendency here is that the pedal kind of takes you away, and you want to really feel like the focus is on this arm that is doing the push-up. I'm going to split the center of my body right at the edge of the chair, and then I'm going to walk back so I feel again like I'm standing on my feet. And then I'm going to do three. I'm going to bend the hand that's on the chair, and And then I'm going to walk to the other side. I'm going to split center with the front of the chair. I'm going to stand on my feet and lift my powerhouse in and up. Okay, let's see what's next. Ten minute stretch, mountain climb, pull up. Okay, so that's going to require our two spring setting. So I'm going to put my two springs back on. Now I have one in the middle plus one on the bottom. And do pick a spring setting that's good for you as well. One middle, one bottom, or one top plus one bottom. Okay, tendon stretch, mountain climb, pull up. I'm going to do the tendon stretch where the heels push into the pedal. Okay, and then of course you could add the one leg version, and I may do that as I know my order more. Now onto the mountain climb. So we'll do eight counts up and eight counts down. Sorry, I misspoke. We'll do eight counts, up for eight counts, and down for eight counts on each side. And I'm going to start on the right. <laughs> okay. Lift the powerhouse and pull up to get that pedal with you. Six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Coming down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. To the other side.
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Coming down. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I'm just going to stay on the pedal and I'm going to do three of the pull up. Adjust my foot position and do one more. Whew. Okay, and there you have it. Part one of the order of all the wounded chair exercises if you do them all in one workout. So I knew, I knew some of the order, a little bit, but it needs to be much more solid. So I will work on that. So we'll have this sort of uh, deliberate pace, part one, and then maybe I'll make a, a faster paced part one, but stay tuned for part two, as well as all the exercises in an hour long one share workout. Thank you so much for watching. If you like videos like this, give it a thumbs up. Please become a subscriber, click the bell icon and be notified every time that I publish new videos. On Fridays, like the day you're watching this video, there'll be workouts. Maybe if you're watching this the day it publishes, it'll be Friday. But on Friday, new videos will be workouts and on Tuesday, there'll be some tutorials, um, maybe an occasional unboxing <laughs> and, um, and also some uh, chatty, chatty rant videos. Thanks again for watching. I couldn't do this without you. Stay safe out there and do your Pilates. Bye.